Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, Pottians. Memphis, your back foot is in between your front feet, and that looks pretty dang cute. Your little foot right there. Your little foot right there. That looks pretty cute. Good morning, guys. We're getting ready to make some watermelon ice cream for the dogs. Look, we got a little mohawk going on there. <laughs> so you guys are always, always asking us, Shelby's got hers too, I haven't done Memphis yet. You're always asking us what type of flea and tick medicine we use for the dogs. We use the Vectra 3D, don't eat it. We actually use Vectra 3D. This is what we use for flea and ticks. We put this on them actually about once every 45 days. It says you're supposed to do it every 30 days, but it does last longer than it says. So we use a combination of that. And then we also use the Wonderside, which you guys have seen us use while camping before. I'll actually put a affiliate link for Wonderside down in the video description below. That's my favorite stuff to use, but we do also use the Vectra because we do have a lot of ticks around here, especially up in the Upper Peninsula. So, Oakley's got a little mohawk going on. Shelby's got a little mohawk going on. It's your turn for a mohawk. You want a mohawk? Do you want a mohawk, Memphis? She's like, I don't know what you're asking me, but you're asking me if I want something. And I know I want something. Did you have fun cutting the grass? <laughs> it looks really nice out there, though. Yeah, it, does. it does. I just put the flea and tick stuff on the dogs. So don't pet them for at least, at least a little while. So as I said earlier, we are making watermelon ice cream for dogs today. If you guys want to see it, it'll be up at youtube.com slash gone to the snow dogs. I'll try to remember to put a link somewhere around here so that you guys can see it. I will show you some of the behind the scenes stuff of this getting set up. We are actually going to make it in my ice cream maker. I'll try to remember to put an Amazon affiliate link to this. This is my favorite ice cream maker ever. We used to have one of the big ones and this makes ice cream in 15 minutes. It's so awesome. Are you girls ready to make ice cream? What do you think? You wanna make some ice cream? Did you just wink at me? Seriously? Was that a wink? Did you seriously? That's a Shelby thing, but I'm pretty sure you just winked at me. She's like, I didn't know such thing. Do you wanna make some ice cream? Okay, let's do that. Let's make some ice cream. Do you girls seriously think you can get any closer to the ice cream machine? Can you get any closer? Oakley's even in here like, hey, are we making ice cream? <laughs> So we got everything together, and the ice cream machine is doing its thing. It looks good. Quick before it gets too soft. There is the watermelon ice cream for dogs. What do you think? Shelby's like, I just want to try it. Are you ready to try it? I think they are all ready to dig right in. super enjoyed their watermelon ice cream and now I have to go run around I have to go to the auto oh I should show you hold on a second so we took the ugly black license plate off the front of the Jeep because you don't have to have a front plate in Michigan but it left some holes these ones I really don't like because they're bumped up but we're gonna go see if we can find some plugs for them but that already looks a whole heck of a lot better I like it without the front plate yeah so I'm heading to the auto parts store to find plugs and red line red paint and then I gotta go out to my mom's, grab some stuff for the garage sale for the animal facility, and I gotta run to the deli, and I gotta run all over the place. So I'm gonna go do all that. I'm back! Do you feel like I've been gone all day? Because I feel like I've been gone all day. Uh, so yeah, I got everything done, except I didn't make it to Sears. I wanted to go to Sears today. I didn't make it there. Stopped at the auto place to see what it would cost to fix the bumper. I might let them do it instead of putting the little caps in it that I talked about, because I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll decide. Jamie is getting ready to work on the trailer, the power converter thing. We ended up just buying one online because it's still running and we're pretty sure it's a power converter. Even though the camper guy said he's not sure if it's a power converter, we figured for the $100, we'll swap it out and see if it works. So we're hoping that it works. We're hoping that it stops that fan from running, running and if not, we can always return it. So we're gonna go see what he's doing. Yay! <laughs> so that is the power converter that the fan won't shut off on. 
it's currently off because we shut the breaker off to it. But Jamie's gonna replace it with that one, right? Oh, that fan. And, it, and, and the lights got a little brighter. Yep, the lights get a little brighter. And, uh, we thought about just replacing the actual fan inside there with a silent fan, because all it is is like a computer fan, pretty much. So we actually thought about taking the fan out, but we figured we'd try this option. I guess this is going to tell us if that guy was right or wrong, huh? Yeah, yeah. I still think it's the converter. It, we're going to find out. All right. If, if not, we're going to figure something else out. <laughs> like a new camper. No, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> I, say, I might have bit off a little bit more than, not more than I can chew, just more than I wanted. Yeah? Yeah. Is it going to be hard? Are they the same? They look pretty close to me. Mm. So, I don't have this sticker. This sticker. Not to get, oh wait. That's the same sticker. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Nope. No. No. No, I made a. Yeah, he's got a printout of a nice little sticker. I oh. Bet, I bet in the book I'll have a nice little printout of the sticker. But if that front panel fits that one, just screw that front panel on. You're so smart. I'm a genius. Hey, this one. <laughs> This sticker, it tells you which breaker is oh, where. Oh, right. This one says it replace it or just write it in. Right. Yeah, just put that front panel back on it. Yep. That'll work. They should be exactly the same. They are exactly. This one's beat up a little. Well, yeah. I mean, it's been in here for a while. Right. So Jamie's going to take this apart and see if the fan now, stops now running. The, yeah, now the old one will be really looking like new. <laughs> yeah, Yay! So... We've taken it apart. This is still the new one. This is the old one. And we actually found more dust in here than we thought. Like even the heat sink that's on there has dust on it, even though we cleaned it out and blew it out. So we're gonna try cleaning it out before we actually go ahead and replace it. See if that helps. So we went through, we cleaned everything. We did a couple more tests. Jamie got out his multimeter. We tested a whole bunch of other troubleshooting things just to be sure. And we're pretty sure our converter is actually bad. But it's getting dark. <laughs> and once we turn the lights off in here, we won't be able to see what we're doing. So possibly tomorrow we're going to try to fix it. Any of you out there RVers, do you have any suggestions for us? Leave them in the comments. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. All we got to do is flip that switch and it shuts off. But now it drains the battery. Yep. Even though we're plugged in. Yeah, so that's what's happening. We're plugged in, they call it, what are they, whoa, focus! There we go. So we're plugged in, they call it shore power, which means it shouldn't be using our battery at all, but it is. So it's not bypassing the battery like it's supposed to. So weird. Hmm. Huh, well, maybe tomorrow. Dang it, I was hoping that one of those things might work. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, yep, we'll see. All right, we're getting ready to go to bed. Do you want to go outside first? Oh yeah, you want to go outside before we go to bed? Do you want to? Do you want to go outside? How about you? Do you want to go outside? How about you? You're like I'm already waiting. All right, we'll go outside first. All right, you went outside. You had a cookie. Now go to bed. I think I just fooled them both because they literally both just had a cookie. You already had your cookie. I guess you can go to bed though. Hopefully he's like, I'm going to bed too. All right, you guys, as always, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Does that fan feel good, huh? This is like, yep. I'm getting some water and going to bed. Okay. Are you still, are you still waiting? All right, you can have a second cookie.